Welcome back. I'm playing more time to the dam. We're Scouts our scaven campaign. Have arrive a war band in the vicinity. Before you can find them, a heavy fog settles over the ruins. Unable to pick up the enemy's trail, your warriors deploy from their wagon and spread out to sweep the area in search of your foe. And we will continue A new round on has started. Trying to level up our guys, collect some wordstone. This time we have to play a marked for death, unfortunately. Now nice thing is it looks like we have multiple deposits here all grouped together and actually ironically this is the map that I thought the last one was so hopefully we can run and get a lot of stuff if they're up in the uh, uh, I guess it must be up top here if they're up on the ledge, because sometimes the AI will have a little trouble coming to us. And that gives you pretty much a bunch of time to just have a free roam. Of this bottom portion of the map to collect as much items as you can. Because... It's nice because if you're real fast, then you can even drop them off in your cart. Here we go. And then you can be ready to fill your inventory again with the equipment or any warp stone that the AI might have gathered on their side of the map. Let's see here, carts in the corner there. So I guess we'll just come over here. And we can send you over this way. Not quite sure where the stone is. Well, I bet it's up top here. Yeah, once you've done enough of these maps, you kind of get an idea of where the things get deployed and you recognize the patterns. Because they do have a couple of different variations of the same map. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I guess I can just have you collect the chest. Like, different doors will be shut. Different obstacles will be there, different pathways, open or closed, so those are all things to play around a little bit with. And now with uh, the Verminkin. Oh, I was kind of hoping you were going to be able to keep jumping up here. It's actually in the building next to us. That was unnecessary. I was going to say it'll be good because the Vermin King can climb very well. But I'm actually not sure how to get to that upper level here. Oh, there we go. I just filled his inventory up. I guess it's a moot point because this guy started up right there. Yes, do we run you over here and risk putting ourselves into a vulnerable situation? I'm going to. I may regret it though. Because again, I'm banking on the AI being slow to get to us. Famous last words is just how you overextend yourself and cause losses on this game for sure. But I'm getting kind of cocky since I'm finally getting some equipment and our guys are getting increased survivability skills with our passives. So pretty much once I clear this area out, I think we're pretty much good. Uh, of course, that door shut. Damn it. Uh, let's 
let's see here. Of course, that obstacle's in the way. So maybe we just keep pushing you around the side here. Thankfully, the one thing we do have going for us is the AI's forces are pretty slow. So yeah, maybe I can run over here, get that stuff. Looks like we're playing against the mercenaries. I wonder if I can actually run you through here to collect these stones. Ah, oh, you're just short. It's a nice little patch of them, though. Now let's run you over here. Ah, uh, you're just short too. A new round has started. I mean, I don't think I want to run up and try to get to those buildings. I think that's just a little bit too far. Let's run you up this way. So what typically happens on this map is if you run over here then they'll start jumping off the wall and then you can start picking them off right over here. Because they sometimes get kind of stuck for whatever reason. They glitch out and can't do the jump. Maybe I just send you into this building here. Try to get the stone. Looks like it must be above us. Yep, there we go. Just a fragment. Alright, so we cleared out the bottom part, so we'll drop our items off here. And we'll start grouping up to either climb up the wall if I get over there, or fight whatever jumps down and fights us here. Got an enchanted item here. Oh, it's already here. That was actually pretty quick. I was not expecting that. Let's hide you here. Now, way if he does come after you, you should be able to pin him down. Oh, I got the heroes over there too. All right, and he's marked for death. So let's start sending you guys over here. your inventory right up. Question is, do I now charge you over there to start fighting or do I just have you come over and drop off at the cart? Kind of feel like I need to just come over here and help reinforce. Yeah, I think my gathering days are pretty much over. Oh shit, he's got somebody up there shooting at me. Oh, he's got all three of his heroes over here already. His three strongest characters. Only one of them has a mark though. Well, let's 
get you around the side, I guess. Could charge in here, potentially. I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe I A do new that in case it comes after our... Oh, never mind. I thought maybe he was going to go after our... Uh, Birmingham. Well, let's start running you all the way over there, I guess. Um, I think this is the fastest way of going. I just want to have him over here in case he starts jumping down, guys, on top of my Birmingham to the left here. Alright, and you're in the building. So let's get you out of here. Can I pick anything up? No, because he's got both of his henchmen and stuff are all over here. <laughs> yeah, and they're in armor. I think I just jump down and see if they bug out and don't come for me. Kind of hate to try to cheese the game a little bit, but... I also don't want to have my guys get injured and have to start over with new characters. Hmm. Surprised you are so far away. You can just start attacking his other hero that's out in the open. this guy down. Put you on sidestep, assuming he's going to come around and attack you from the side with one of his other heroes here. Yep. Good dodge. Good dodge. Because that guy can definitely dish out the damage. Well, let's just start killing him, I guess. Because we should be pretty much good to kill this guy as long as you don't miss your attack. Yep, good. And you've even got some stuff for us. Unfortunately, he is not the one that's been marked. Nice. That's pretty huge for us. So I should be able to just run over here. Start smacking and caving his head in. Now, I wonder if his hero is the one that had the gun? He must have switched it to a melee weapon. and pull back. A new round Shouldn't have somebody started. else get in here. Yeah, see, he's bugging out up there. He's not jumping down. Damn it. Now let's just see. have you finish that guy off. Put you on ambush stance. So that's two leaders down. We'll reload. Should I climb up here and try to re-engage these guys? Oh, 
I guess he moved <laughs> since the last time I was here. Ooh, nice crit. Let's jump down. Try to get you out of the way. You're still way over here. So do I run you over here, or do I try to get you to go after other guys? I think I want to just keep running you over. Because we at least see one of the marks over here. Two percent chance to hit. All right, not too bad. Let's run you forward. He's over here. Good damage. Let's see if you can collect his equipment here. I don't think you're going to be able to. Climb up here. Start smacking here down. So we do want to get the kill. Where the hell is this guy? Alright, have you picked up some items or not? Let's see here. Can you climb up here? Oh, I'm blocking it. Damn it. Alright, well, we got an opening over here. So let's come over here. We'll pick up some items over there. Although it just dawned on me that that guy has a full inventory, doesn't he? out on all those items. I very well might. Because I can't get to his body. Good crit. Okay, the archer is the other guy that's marked for death. If I kill this guy, I don't think it's going to be round enough has to started. trigger a morale check. Well, that might be unfortunate, because I think... It's, well, now I certainly am not going to be able to get up here. All right, I was gonna, oh, maybe you can charge. I can't tell if he's got an escape route back there or not. I think he does. Young Blood's over there. Try to trigger this engagement, I guess, is the question. Hmm. Why would the AI have done that? Probably because it knows if I try to engage him, it'll trigger the charge overwatch, maybe? And so it views that as a safer option. Down, since it seems to be working for me. Oh, damn it. Ah! 
good hit. some inventory space but I want to come after this guy to try and get our other dog tag let me guess all of his items are gonna be gone oh they're not objective complete objectives updated Can I get over there is the question. To get the kill with you. Ah! Alright, good. Come on now, don't do that. There we go. So he's down. Let's get rid of that. Objective Guarantee completed. our victory. And then you can go ah! over here and lock this guy down. Your backpack is full, but you do have stuff that I would want. Most specifically, that purple armor. So I think my other henchmen should be able to get over here, right? To be able to fill up their backpack. So this guy doesn't have to drop stuff. Yeah, so you're not even full yet. So let's run you over here. I suppose had I thought that over a little bit better, I would have picked up that warp stone from their captain there. Good. And then I could have uh, gotten more resources here had I been thinking. Brave old warband is sneaky strong. Fetch find much wordstone. Filch will squeak speak to murder lord. Tell him much much. Warband climb sneak high far. All right, you got that guy up to level nine. Fantastic. So I guess nine is not the highest level. Must be ten then. All right, that's quite the. Uh, Quite the reward structure I got there. Let's see. And then with this guy with his light armor on, we're already up to almost 100% dodge. So I think we just keep pushing that. Get you to 100%. Okay, you do have light armor on. There you go. And we'll get your strength up. Your leadership and your weapon skill. So I can hopefully get better parrying going. That magic resistance is kind of a weak empowerment since we fight magic so rarely. Yeah, still no blue helmets. I could give him light armor. It drops it down to 60. Mace, but I'd much rather have that over the sword for the increased hit chance, er, the knife, I should say. That's actually a pretty damn good shield. So, whoever's my highest parrier 
Should be the one that really gets that. Still have not got good equipment for that guy, unfortunately. I mean, in terms of weapons, I mean, I can't do much better than what I've got for his, uh... I'm gonna give this guy a blue staff. Uh, can't do much better than a purple armor. And I'm pretty pleased about his amulet. I suppose I shouldn't discount that. A 35% chance to pass the stupidity just with that thing equipped is pretty big. Keep pushing their toughness, make them as tanky as possible. Start focusing on your accuracy and get your dodge up further. I guess these are the other guys I need to really get upgraded. As those dang shurikens are hard to get because only the bracers and the shurikens I think you only get from fighting other Skaven. And for whatever reason, I just have not had much for Skaven battles. It's quite atypical, actually. Well, I guess if everybody's got a mace, I might as well give you a mace. Alright, that looks good. two skill points left, so I feel like I gotta save up for four and then I can get them the reload mastery like what I'm doing with our Globadier. That'll be pretty important for us. I'm still pretty pissed off that I wasted that armor proficiency. for our highest levels here. That all looks reassuring. Switch to the next day. Market stock has been replenished. Oh, that's pretty nice too. All right, let's take a look. Heavy armor. I'll definitely take that. Increasing spell chance. I mean, I guess. Hammer, even though I can't use it. All right, we got a blue helmet. That's good. Uh, I don't know if I really care about that. I'll take a blue shield. Feels kind of crazy to buy a white weapon this late into the campaign, but just in case I have a bunch of people die and I need them, I guess that's what we'd have to do. Let's get you the helmet. I can give you the blue helmet. you that blue shield. You can have the purple heavy armor. get you Web of Steel. 
while we're waiting here. And I think that's going to be pretty much good to go, and we might be able to play around here and try to advance the campaign further. So I'm going to call quits here for the day. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe. Encourage me to post more content for you. Have a great day.